Welcome back to Vegas Live with Nina, and of course we're starting the new year out, 2020. I call it the vision, because that's what vision is, 2020. <laughs> um, I have Todd Kearns with me, and he's from Raiding the Rock Group. Vault. Vault. Close group. enough. Vault. <laughs> Raiding the Rock Vault. And uh, I've known, actually, this particular band for many, many years, um, and I've often met you off and on, mm -hmm. and now you're kind of full-time into it. And Todd is actually one of the lead singers because you said there's correct. several of them, and yeah. there's also a young yeah. lady involved in it. There now. is, yeah, yeah. So yeah, how's it all going? This is wonderful. I mean, it's this is pretty exciting. I mean, I, you know, I've been a traveling musician my whole life, and always constantly on the road. I play with Slash. I play with all these kinds of things. Yes. And then when the Rock Vault came up, um, initially I was involved in uh, an out of town version. We go to Branson, Missouri, yeah. and other things like that. And then um, the idea of staying home a little more, which I'm always happy to stay home. <laughs> you have a wife and family? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. See, so that yeah, is so. nice to stay home. Yeah, it's nice to for, make sure that they, they you know, don't they, forget they, about they, me. I was going to say, recognize, who's this guy in my yeah. Who's this strange guy in who's my house? Who's this person? <laughs> Why is the showers not staying warm as long? That kind of thing, when you have an extra body in there the house. There you go. <laughs> I never thought of that. Yeah, there you go. There's all those things. <laughs> yes. Where's all the cereal going? That yeah, kind of thing. There you go. But, uh, yeah, the Rock Vault is, uh, you know, it's it's uh, it begins in the 60s and it winds all the way up into the 80s. We Try, it's sort of a. It's an uh, ongoing, isn't it? It's a it? chronological musical journey, and there's three different male singers: myself, Paul Shortino, who's been Quiet Riot, Rough Cut, Robin Macaulay from Macaulay Schenker Group, who's they're they're just amazing guys. I mean, the cool thing for me is having guys like Howard Lee playing guitar from oh. Heart, and and Hugh McDonald comes in and out from Bon Jovi, and these are all guys that I grew up. You, know, you grew up with all Yeah, them. I loved all these musicians. Well, weren't you connected musicians. with Guns N' Roses as well? Yeah, Slash, the guitar player for Guns yes, N' Roses. Yes. I play in his uh, his band, Slash, Feature yeah, Mouse Canadian Slash, Conspirators. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, which is for 10 years now, believe it or not. Yeah, wow. yeah, it's a long so time. So what makes somebody um, like yourself, because I have a lot of people in the entertainment business on my show, a lot of entertainers in the music business, and what really makes somebody, because they all complain they never get the work and they never get up there, so what makes, what do you have to do to get into, I mean, you obviously have to have a good voice, obviously. Well, yeah. But but also, isn't it turning up and being there and, you know? I think it's, it, honestly, it's like anything else. And I think that, you know, whether it's music or accounting or being a plumber, I mean, anything. whatever it is, Turn you up. really have to be <laughs> willing to go. It's not about a 40 hour work, work that week. Extra, it's, that it's, extra yeah, yard, you isn't You just it? That... do it. And I think for me, it was, you know, because it was music, yeah. um, there was never really difficult for me to, I never considered it a sacrifice or I never considered it like, oh, it's... No, you couldn't yeah. wait to be that. I just couldn't wait. I, I still kind of feel that way. I still feel like I love playing music and I and I love, I feel very fortunate that anybody cares enough to show up, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so I'll, I'll, you know... But this is a group that's been going on, as you say, for many years. It's been... Yeah, it's, seven it's, years now, It's yeah. kept itself together a mm -hmm. lot. I first... Um, um, met the group when they were at the Westgate, yes. we, which we call the, the Old Hilton. Yeah. But I met them down there. Yeah. And you know David Kirschenbaum? Yeah. Well, David Kirschenbaum, this is he doesn't even know this, I don't think. David Kirschenbaum I... was my son-in-law. I did not know no, that. See, wow. no, but, uh, yeah, Timmy, yeah, wow. Timmy DeRosa, who was my daughter, or actually stepdaughter, but she actually is my daughter, she was married to him. How do you like that? So, wow. so small this world. Is a small world. So I'm down at the Westgate and I'm talking to all these guys and everything. I suddenly had a voice yell, lean on, and I thought, who knows me around her? Nobody knows. And it was David. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. So yeah. this is, and of course, he was very well known as a producer and everything sure. else. He's done sure, extremely yeah. well known out there. Still is, yeah. I guess. But so when you started into the into it yourself. Were you kind of, you know, because you already had a big background. Yeah. Was it what you wanted? Obviously, I think it was, but was it kind of, you know? Well, you know, it's funny for me because I'm, I'm, you know, I in certain groups I'm a bass player, in certain groups I'm a guitar player, in certain groups I'm a lead singer. So for me it was kind of like when I was first approached with it, it was kind of like, Sounds like what fun. I, what, what, what role am I playing? Yeah, what do you want me to do? Yeah, <laughs> I can do it all. That was the first thing was, well, what do you want me to do? Um, but I really, uh, mostly I think I really, you know, the musical part of it obviously is, is is I love playing that's music. Inbred in yeah, that's, that's just inbred. kind of part that's of the deal. Of but I really day. enjoy the company of the people involved, like the all the musicians and, and the people behind the scenes in this show. Uh, I just love love them, and we really became family really quickly. So, um, you know, getting to kind of get together. Yes. 
as often as we do is, is, is a pleasure. Are you able to, to present what you feel would, would, would help or would be different or are you able to sort of get involved in that as well? Um, uh, as a group you do that, don't I you? I think that, you know, the show gets established. Um, guys like Howard and, and, and as the musical director and that kind of thing, they sort of put together the show. The and show part, yes. Yeah, and then it's sort of like, you sing this, he sings that, da da da, da. And then it's, you know, to me, it's mostly about just showing up and... And, and, and doing it, doing it. And just, you know, giving 110. I never, you know, not, I don't, anybody involved See, in the show... What, that's what Todd does, gives 110. <laughs> he doesn't give 100. Yeah, give extra, exactly. Because then, you, I mean, when you're out there, do you, I mean, you just, do you own it? Do you, you like, you, you feel like... This is what I'm gonna give. I, you How know, you I think that that's true in most performance-based uh, careers. For me, it's like people talk about stage fright and all that, and I never really had stage. I fright. can't see you having yeah. stage fright. <laughs> Somehow, you don't look as if you would have. You look. Like, yeah. you, you own it. That's well, what I'm I actually saying. So feel you... like real life is a lot more intimidating than you know. It, it's kind of like you know, being in social situations, a dinner party, that kind of thing can be awkward. Whereas getting on stage and doing what you Love, love to do. Passion, it's yeah. Passion. It's to me. It's always been too much fun for me to feel uh, scared of it or whatever. You know. I mean, I, I totally not to just you know not to, to to put anybody down who gets scared in front of an audience. It's a very unusual well, thing. Sometimes but, when you get scared in front of an audience, use it. Uh, that's kind of what it is. Use those nervous yeah, yeah. parts. Yeah. Use it. Use Absolutely. So where are you performing now? I think it's Rio. You said we go to the Rio Club One Seven Two. Yeah. So it's starting there on Saturday. So we'll starting be, at the Rio. Yeah. Oh my yeah. goodness. It's very exciting because it's you know I came into it. We were already at the Hard Rock. It had already been yes. through into its third uh, venue. Now we're into the fourth. So I'm excited to be a part of this one from the ground up. And I was going to say, do you like being, you know, in a place, obviously in Vegas, you live in Vegas. Yeah. So you're going to be here, do you know, what, a year, two months? How long do they book you in for? It's kind of open-ended, honestly. It's oh, like, oh, it, really? the show's been going seven years, so, it, it, you know, whether I'm there or not, it's going to keep it's going. going. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, not no, the Todd Kearns no, show, no, it's no, the no, no. It's Red Rock Ball, yeah. Oh, but I appreciate, you know, you know, being able to show up and, 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 and rock the house and, and, and be able to have, the cool thing about Vegas is people come from Minnesota, England, wherever, you know, they can know, all come here. I know, you have here. such a variety. It's, the audience yeah. is such a Every night it's a different people. audience. So it's, I mean, it's, I call my show, you know, Vegas Live with Nino, and it's a variety show because we have so many different people on. Absolutely, But it yeah. is a variety. But you're like the same. The people that come into the into Vegas are from all over the world. Absolutely, And yeah. that's what makes Vegas. It does, you know. yeah. It's um, my favorite place in the world. Is it the, you, yeah. you like living here? I've been here everything? 13 years, and I have no intention of going anywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that one? Now, what about your wife and kids? you have a wife? Yeah, I got a wife. I got grown kids. But the... Grown, uh, grown kids. Oh, yeah, you yeah. Don't, you're not growing yourself yet. Come on, <laughs> give me a break. Oh yeah, I don't know about that. But yeah. The uh, yeah, no, we uh, we've been here 13 years. We, we is love she in it. the entertainment business? No, she's she's uh, really good at, at, at babysitting this. I was, I was say, she, she's the one that keeps the house together. Yeah, exactly. And everything, yeah. Everything, everything she makes sure together. that I'm here, you know, and makes sure that I'm there. Out of everything you've done and all the sort of um, you know your your goals when you were coming out, how has that gone for you? You've, you've achieved all your goals, or you still got more goals? What have, what have you? I mean, do you I, want to do a, a, a record or something of your there's own? There's always, I and mean, that's the cool thing about music, uh, and I'm sure in any other field too, but I always feel like there's still other things I'd like to do. You'd like to yeah. do other I, I'm, I feel very fortunate every day that I wake up and I get to go play music, and for some reason people still want to see me do it, and I can, you know, make a living doing absolutely. it. Absolutely. You know? do, do you compose? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'm always constantly writing. I'm in the process of putting out about three records this year, and in different projects, so that's kind of an ongoing. What are the name of the? Thing. Can we name those projects? Yeah, I play in a in a in a tribute, a Canadian tribute band called Two. I would call it a Canadian tribute band, but it's just me and some friends who are all Canadian. I'm Canadian. Okay. We live in the U.S., but we still go to Canada and we play all this Canadian music. That's called Tuke. Um, Tuke, I love that. The original Sin is a band I've had here for since I came to Vegas. So we and we're all playing in other things, but we still get together once in a while. We're gonna do some music this year. Awesome. Um, Slash and the guys, we hope to get together soon. So, and I'm doing, a, I often do solo acoustic things say, by myself. I was going to say, you do solo, so yeah, you're doing a yeah. solo. Are you going to try to bring out a solo CD on yourself? That's the plan this year. Yeah, That's so. the plan, so we've got to make yeah. sure that happens. Yeah, yeah, constantly, constantly, no days off, I say, no, no days, days off. off. <laughs> but, you know, talk, 
you're just involved in it and this is your life so yeah. I think you haven't ever brought out a, a record of your own before a CD of your own oh yeah yeah I've got, s- I've got several yeah several. you can find me on Spotify and Apple all that stuff you, okay. you'll find and me and what about that Todd Kearns ToddKearns.com yeah, ToddKearns.com yeah. is about where you're going to reach and find yeah. out everything about you and, everything. and all the social media I'm on all the Twitter and the Instagram and all that kind of and stuff and everything too, yeah. else yeah. Um, what would you you know I was just I had a, I had a TV show called uh, Voices of Tomorrow and it was for the younger generation from 12 to 18 what would you like to say to any of them that are in the music industry that are sort of starting into it uh, because you're so successful well it's funny to me because uh you know i never really thought about i was saying to somebody the other day how in my first band riding around in a clunky old van and sleeping on Didn't floors we all? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't have sleeping on walls yeah, anyway. yeah, sleeping on floors and just getting to play music i never and you know we weren't making really any money and but I never remember complaining. I just remember thinking, isn't this great? Well, it's you know, probably other... really cool for you. Yeah, <laughs> well, we were kids. A young kid you know, and you're yeah, cool yeah, yeah, yeah. and you're sleeping in the car. Other guys what would... I dreamt of. Exactly. Other guys would get older and be like, oh, I can't do this anymore. I'm going to get a job. And I'd be like, oh, that's not you. Like, this is the best. Are you kidding me? So, yeah, because so, you've been through all the stuff. Exactly. But I mean, and that's the kind of, you know, as long as you don't, if that doesn't sound terrible to you, you will kind of like progress because... If you couldn't take take all that in because that's part of being of doing where you want to go absolutely I think that's yeah. sort of you have to go through all these steps I remember when I started modeling years ago and you know, I, I was new in it I and mean, all these True. people were taking all my jobs and then eventually I got one job and then I got a second job it doesn't job. start at Vogue magazine no, it no, starts no, at, no, yeah, I, yeah. I can vouch for that yeah, one yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and that's that. true in every field you know yes. it's like it, it, how much do you want it that's exactly it. Yeah. How and much do you want anything in life, especially yeah. the music industry is very, very competitive. It's super competitive. Yes, yeah. Very, very but there's lots so. of room for everybody, and don't let anybody tell you that you know you have to if you you have to do this because there's there's so it's such a wide. It, it's field. a gradual thing, and you have to build yeah. the foundation first. If you build yeah. a strong foundation, then you'll go up there. If you love playing music, you're just gonna, you're just, you're just gonna love and it. And you anyway. love it. Yeah. You love I, it. It's my life. Yeah. It's your life. It's, so. I'm going to leave here and go make music. (laughs) (laughs) I love it. Well, when you leave, I'm going to do another interview. (laughs) So we all have our thing to do. Exactly. It's all all out there, all of us to do. (laughs) Exactly. So they they can reach you anywhere, actually, on the social media, on any place you can can reach Todd Gaines. And also, um, you're at the Rio. On Saturday. Yeah, so come down Saturday. uh, It's going to be the big opening now. It starts, uh, no, it's like 7.30, I think. 7:30. It's, it's, it's an earlier show now. Earlier show. So, so don't forget, I've seen the band. I've watched them. They are absolutely amazing. You'll be absolutely thrilled with what you see because they are so good. Todd, thank you so much thank for coming. Thank you so much. Absolutely amazing. Love them. We'll be right back. Don't forget, subscribe. Go to YouTube and subscribe. Thanks a lot. Take care.